podcast, bro. <laughs>
So we want to be here at the elbow area, forming our triangle, forcing the ball to keep coming around the horn. Okay? So that's the difference with, between green and red. Ball is thrown out. Again, we are not overextending. This is a non-threatening shooter right now for us, even, unless she's got Tasha Butts range. But anyway, we are playing her back here, not overextending, okay? High post area, we're not denying that. That pass goes out of our trap, we are. But we're just right here again, not extending. If she is red, you are in. You're in more. If she's out there at the three-point line, you are in all the way in here. Again, we are inviting her to take the three-point shot. Okay? High post, let's say she's red, we are not going out on her. We are staying right in here at the free throw line. Again, inviting her to shoot the three. If you got a four man that can shoot the three, then obviously we got our heels on the three point line. Anybody that's green, we got our heels on the three point line to force their range, feet on the three point line for me, to force their shooting range out here because a lot of women will tow the line for their three point shot. Balls reversed. This is automatic corner up. Anything free throw line below is the back of the zone. Anything free throw line below is the back of the zone. So now she's red, so where would you be? She's red, back up. Say shoot the three. That's what you want. But you're gonna cat and mouse hedge at her. Now if you see a player get into their rhythm of shooting, then you go and contest. One thing that we do and we drill a lot is left hand, left hand, left hand contest because there's so many right-hand shooters. So that's one thing, if we see that she's in her range, she's coming into her shot, you are going out and you are coming on this side of the ball looking to contest that, okay? Fronting here on the low block, we always want to beat the post player to their spot. We want to be on the block. We want to be right here on the block, not in the paint, but on the block. So then the offensive player now becomes a mid-post player, whether it's off the lane here, or up, up the lane over here, okay? So if she's mid post there, obviously this is red, so you gotta be there on the catch. Now, if the ball is passed down here, you are following the pass, pass. We're crushing this. Anything along the baseline is automatic trap. Everything is automatic trap. Deny here, deny here, zone up here, and then leave the farthest player, okay? If someone cuts, if one, of you, if one of these guys cuts in here, this is you. You are denying, denying this right there, okay? So that's our trapping along the baseline. All right, now put the ball over here. And let's say we had a wing up or a corner up. Ball's on the corner. Corner up there, put the ball in the wing. Corner up, elbow coverage, elbow coverage, okay? And they're zoning up right here. If she skips the ball, and these two close out together, and they get there on the same, at the same time, we are trapping this. So if two people arrive at the ball at the same time, don't leave it, trap it. And then everybody else is rotating over, denying, denying, and zone up in the middle, okay? The other trapping area, put the ball up top, point guard come down, point guard, you're coming down. And let's say they've inbounded the ball, and point guard's in the middle. You've already left, and they've left the point guard. They just left her to go run their play. This right here, we're coming here, and we will trap in this area, and then we're taking away the wings, the wings, and anything in the middle, and gambling that she doesn't see this player right here. So again, it's a lot of gambling, but we're counting on our trapping to be very disruptive. So if someone leaves their point guard, we're going to get them, okay? Bring it back. Now, the ball will get inside. So put the ball here. You're coming down. Let's say we're late. You're on the block. And the ball gets inside right here. We will also come and trap from the high post area. So we'll bring two here, trap, trap, deny, deny, leave the other player, okay? The other area that we will trap as well is on the wings. Again, that was on the skip when two people get there, but we'll trap on the first pass. So the ball may be right here, and obviously this is a play call, and we want to get the ball, let's say, out of a, a, a very good offensive player's hand or somebody who we think we can disrupt. We'll go trap on the first pass, okay? Then the ball can be turned, thrown around the corner. Anything on the wing, we will go. Now we got corner up there, 
Elbow coverage, elbow coverage. Get to the helpline. Okay, ball goes to the corner down there. We're crushing that. Bring it back out. Reverse. Quick reversal. They arrive at the same time. Trap it. Okay, bring it back. Start up top. Another thing that we'll do is we may not trap on this first pass. We may trap on the reversal. So we're, here we go, we're winging up here, we're corner up. Ball's reversed, your free throw line stand it, good. Ball's reversed, then we're going on this one. We know that we're laning, we're not gonna pick up the ball here because this would be too far for her to cover. So we're laning and biting this pass because I know my next coverage is to go and crush here. I wanna trap on this reversal. So we'll also trap out a reversal, okay? Any other areas? So we pretty much trap everywhere you can possibly think of. Sometimes our team traps, and sometimes they don't. To me, that's also disruptive because now you've got the offensive player um, guessing, wondering if we're coming or not. Um, sometimes I call for them to trap, and they don't. So it's just on them. If your team is not in the mood to trap, then don't trap. I mean, that's pretty simple. Sometimes we're in the mood, and we're, we'll get after people, and then sometimes we're just not. And so if, you, if you're watching and we chart this defensively, is our trapping effective? If it's not, then we go away from it. We don't just stay on it, okay?